In this step-by-step -step video, I will show you how to research keywords on Etsy using Everbee. Now, I'm also going to explain you how you can find keywords from high demanding products, how you can incorporate such keywords on your own products, and also how you can find your own niche just by searching for keywords. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial, please sign up using the link down below for a free trial on Everbee. We're first of all going to do is we're going to find what our competitors are actually selling. So on Etsy, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and search for a product that we actually want to see the data for. So, you know, let's say uh, I'm going to write in couple shirts. I'm just going to go ahead and write that and I'm going to enter it for search. Now, once you do that, what's going to happen is that you're going to start getting couple shirts over here. Now, obviously you have couple shirts and everything, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using Everbee. Okay. Well, this is Everbee, obviously, and I assume that you already have the Everbee extension. You're going to come here on the left hand side. And once you're on the left hand side, you're going to click on product analytics, but make sure to search couple shirts first. But once you do that, click on product analytics, you're going to start seeing a full list of data for a couple shirts on Etsy. Now, these lists consists of product names, shop name, prices, monthly sales, monthly revenue, total sales, reviews, listing A's, favorites, average reviews, average favorites, average price, and average monthly sales. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to break down these categories. The categories that were mentioned are actually tools for you to figure out whether a product is performing well. Okay. So high visibility score, monthly sales, revenue are things worth nothing. Okay. Now you can also filter out categories by clicking customize up here. Now, once you click on customize, you can start ticking or unticking categories as you want. So let's say we have our product name over here. So I'm going to take out my product name. And as you can see, we have no product name anymore. But I'm just going to go back in, turn it back on again. And there we go. We have it back on again. So that's how we can use customize and you can untick categories. You don't want to see when searching for different analytics. And a conversion rate basically means when the product actually pops up on a search result, they end up on a sale. So look out for products that have a high visibility score and a high conversion rate. Okay. Now, once we talk about that, we're going to talk about what keywords are actually performing well. Okay. Performing well as in well on high demanding products. Okay. Now, one simple way to actually know which keywords are performing extremely well is to actually go ahead and clicking on some type of product name. So the first few products are just sponsors. So I wouldn't exactly recommend going with them. So, you know, skip five to six products. So one, two, three, four, five, six, then go with any random product. I would go with the highest selling that I could see. So let's go with this. Okay. 22 USD. So we're going to go with that. And uh, you know what? The sales for this one is pretty high monthly sales 67. So I'm going to go with this. Yeah. We're going to go with that and we're going to see what keywords are actually performing high. Okay. And to obviously know what high demand products with performing well keywords are, we're going to go with the one with the most monthly sales, which clearly I did. Now, once you click on this certain product, a new table will appear as so that basically is going to show a detailed and more organized listing and information for you. Now, once we have, you know, made sense of that, you can start seeing different analytics, you know, listing details, shop details, monthly sales, revenue, and a whole lot more. Now under this section, which is a tag section, you will see all the keywords set for the product as well as the search volume and competition. Now you can see clearly you have search volume over here. You have competition over here and as so. Now you can go ahead and select keywords with a good search volume and a relatively low competition. What good is a high search volume if the competition is twice or, you know, triple bigger. Okay. So let's say if the volume is 195 and the competition is, I can't even tell how much that is. It's like quadruple or maybe, you know, a whole lot more than that. So you get the point. Like you don't want to go with a keyword that has a volume at some, you know, at some number, but the competition is like. 10 times that, or even more, this is like more than 10 times this, this is like 30 times. 
So we don't want to go with that. And you're going to ignore the keywords with the lowest traffic as well. Okay, make sure to keep a list so that you avoid using those words for your own products. So to keep tabs on a specific product listing, just simply going to click on add to favorite over here. So you can see the star and you're going to add this listing to your favorite. So I'm just going to give you an example and actually go ahead and add that to my favorite, you know? So there we go. We've added that to my favorite by using the star logo in the top right section. Now let's also go ahead and talk about keyword searching. Now, besides looking for actual keywords from product analytics, another way is to go to keyword research. And where are you going to find that? Again, simply hover to the Everbees menu on your Etsy account and find the keyword research tab over here. We're going to go ahead and click on that and open that up. Now, once you open that up, you're going to go ahead and search for keywords in the search bar and search for any type of keyword that you want to go with. So again, using the same example as previously, we're going to go ahead and write couple shirts. Okay. Now, once you write couple shirts, again, we're just going to go ahead and simply search that in and you will see an overview of the search volume and competition for that keyword. If you see that the keyword has a high search volume, but also has a high competition, try to find another keyword, one that has a lower amount of competition. So let's say over here, the volume is uh, 10,000 and the competition is 80,000. In this case, the volume is 11,000, but the competition is 2.7 million. So we are going to be very away from that. Couple shirts is 3000 volume, but 188,000 competition. The most that makes sense would be sweat shirts with like a space between them. So 10,445 volume with 80,000 competition. That still is eight times more the volume. But in terms of the other, you know, keywords that we saw, this one works the best. And the keyword score is relatively the best in this case as well. Now, if you see that Again, the keyword has a high search volume, but a high competition. I would not recommend that. But in this case, you could do that. Okay. Now, if you want to have more info about a certain keyword while you're on the keyword research, you're just going to simply go ahead and click on customize and you're going to click competition and keyword score. You're going to make sure to keep this on and the competition and keyword score will help you. And keyword score also matters a lot. So higher the keyword score, the more chances is that you're going to need that. So the results will show you a lot of related keywords to your initial search. Go for keywords with a very high keyword score, a high keyword search volume and relatively low competition. OK, now, once we've actually, you know, walked through all of that, let's talk about actually finding a niche for ourselves. Now, it's very difficult to find your own niche to start with. OK, you can start exploring niches by searching for categories on your Etsy. Now, you're some of you might be wondering, you know, what is a niche? What are niches? What am I talking about? Niches are basically a type of category, OK, that you're going to be working on on your Etsy. So, you know, let's say on your Etsy store, you're selling digital planners. So that's a niche you're selling, you know, digitalized goods like planners, PDFs and a whole lot more. So that's a niche. Or maybe you're selling digital art or maybe you're selling proper poster or art pieces. So that's an artist niche. So you get the point. These are niches, you know, separate categories that you can have for your workspace or whatever work you're doing. OK, so once we've understood the concept of niche, let's talk about how we're going to adjust it on our Etsy. Now, basically, what we're going to do to help ourselves find a good niche on Etsy is we're going to go to Etsy.com's main page. And over there in the search bar, we're going to go ahead. You know, you have the search bar over here, over here. You know, you get all these categories and stuff, but we're going to choose this category. And in this category, we're going to go ahead and choose clothing. OK, we're going to go with clothing. And once you go on clothing, we're going to go with the you know, I'm going to go show more. Yeah, we're going to go with men's clothing. OK, let's say. Now you're going to go through the search results and find a product with a lot of reviews. OK, so once you do that, let's say I'm also going to go on shirts and tees just to, you know, specify it. And I'm going to go on T-shirts just to specify it even more. And here you can see you get men's T-shirts. Now, again, once you do this, you're going to go through the search results and find a product with a lot of reviews. So in our case, we have that has 9000 views. 
That has 7,000 views. Yeah, let's go with this one. This one has 9,304 views, and this person is a star Etsy stellar. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. Now, to find out if the product has a lot of good reviews, first of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the product name and incorporate that in your own product if you want to give this niche a good try, okay? So the product name is custom t-shirt, men's custom t-shirt, personalized t-shirts, customized apparel, custom tee, etc., etc. Now, if you want to go with this name, you could. Obviously, it's quite a long name with a lot of commas, but you know, it works for this person, so why wouldn't it work for you? Now, we're going to go ahead and click the name of this shop over here. Now, once you click the name of this shop, obviously, it's going to open up the whole shop and store of this person. So it's called Great Live Tees. Now, you're probably wondering why I had you open the shop. I had you open the shop so you can hover over here. We're going to click on Product Analytics. And you'll see what the store has been able to sell, the total sales and the niches that they're in that are also performing very well. So as you can see, we have this over here. So customized shirts, these were for $138. This person had 10 sales. Then he posted the same thing again in men's t-shirt for 14 US dollars. This man had 255 monthly sales. Total sales are 23,000 and the monthly revenue is $3,500. That's absolutely crazy. And as you can see, this person has even more products, but obviously the most popular one is this one. So as you can see, you can see what they're, how they're doing so well. So once you've gathered the information about the store and figure out the niches, you want to try to take inspiration from the store, not necessarily copy, but figure out their sales so that you can use it for your own store. So, you know, let's say this is the most popular one, right? So you can open this up and you can copy the tags from the products that are performing really well. You know, just go ahead and copy the tags that work well for you and it should be good enough. Now, you can also improve your own product listing, okay, by following the steps mentioned. Now, this is a very important step for those who have already listed a number of products in their own store, okay? Now, in your Everbee dashboard, you're going to click on my listings over here. It will look like a product analytical section, but for your own listings, it has the average sale, monthly sale, visibility score, etc. So you're going to focus on products with a high visibility score. Now, I don't currently have products, but once you do, you're going to click on the products with a decent or high visibility score to see why they're performing very well. You're going to look at the tags and which ones are actually gaining traffic. You're also going to take note of tags that have really high traffic. You're going to click products that aren't performing well or terrible and look at the tags and make sure to not use them in the future listings. That is how you're gonna help yourself with your own listings on your own Etsy store. So make sure to connect your Etsy store before doing this because obviously without that, you will not be able to see your things. So yeah, that's basically finalizing your Everbee. Okay, Everbee is for product researching and keyword researching. Now, it's really useful for, for product and keyword researching and it's really, you know, it does not consume your time it gives you the best of features that you can find on the internet and it gives you a lot of great things it gives you very simple tools that can be used by anyone and it's really simple to understand as well the free plan is going to stay free forever okay it costs absolutely nothing zero dollars and it's not a trial so you know it won't be for a limited time it's going to be there forever and the interface is simple and easy and very very nice to follow because it's extremely user friendly and you're going to love using this platform. So if you want to try out Everbee, I will leave my personal link in the description, which will allow you to use Everbee's free plan right now. But yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel because that surely helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.